today I am going to be um, working on my cubby. Um, I've got some straightening up to do. I've got a bit of organising to do. I'm just generally putting pieces away. Um, I usually always do this job as separate from any other cleaning of the home because usually I spend maybe half day, day doing this, um, especially if I'm cleaning it out. As I said, every few months I sort of take out as much as I can, um, give it a good clean and um, put things back and hopefully reduce the clutter because it is actually just a walking cupboard which we've actually taken the door off as I've said a number of times so any excess um, stuff clutter makes it look even you know more cluttered and disorganized I like to call it um, disorganized um, clutter myself um, hubby every time he walks by often comments how cluttered it is but I am a crafter and you do have all these pieces, don't you? And you collect things. Um, my worst thing about doing is, now I'm doing YouTube, I like to obviously haul what I bought. So it's a case of not putting things away until I've done the haul. So I tend to try and do the haul straight away when I come back from shopping or whatever I'm doing, if I've bought something, so I can put things back sometimes you do get um, sidetracked and it might be after I've done the haul I've just put things aside on my desk which I've done this time and that's the sort of thing that I need to sort out and wipe all my um, desk and everything down and try and put things away I go through stages and it starts it slowly gets cluttered again and then I will have a sort out and put things away and I'll quickly show you my area. Last, I think it was last year or beginning of the year, I did do a full tour of my cupboard. As you know, it is just literally a walking cupboard, but it's surprising what you can get in there. And it's just, again, thinking out the box of different areas. You might just have um, a corner of the room with a desk. So you really have to think about what you're gonna keep and how you're gonna store everything. So let me just show you my cupboard. Right, this is my cubby. It's the downstairs, was the downstairs walking cupboard. As you can see, that's how wide it is, and that's where the door was taken off a few years ago now. And this is my space. As I said, I've got to clean it and um, put some things away. Um, most of my storage is in boxes above my desk, and I have actually kept the original shelving that we did put up. This used to be the guy's um, computer cupboard actually. We used to have the main family computer in here when our boys were younger. And that curtain there is just um, hiding some wiring and the router for our internet service. So um, I've just put, um, you know, one of those um, net panels up there. Although very often when they have to restart the internet for whatever reason, um, they don't always tuck it back in um, right. But as I said, I will quickly, briefly um, go over how I store um, pieces. Um, as I said, I have gone into a lot of details before. I have pulled out my chair. Now this is only the floor area I've got in there and I am standing near a back doorway and I've just moved my chair out just to show you. Now this is one of my problem areas I have is when I take a craft bag to um, a community centre, especially if it's a project we're doing over a couple of weeks, I tend to leave things in the bag. Now this is back is actually from the week before we went on holiday and I will show you what we actually made. And I've got the paper plates here and felt and everything. So I really need to put that away. As I said, um, sometimes it lingers depending on if the project is actually finished that week or whether it progresses for further weeks. So, um, so this is um, my desk. All the furniture has come from Ikea. And this is what I mean. Um, you might recognise this from a recent haul. I've got bits and pieces here that was in one of my hauls. And underneath, I have actually got to put this folder away. And again, something I showed. Um, it's how I 
organize all the sheets of wrapping paper off cuts um, other than rolls and when I was going away the day before we went I had um, to wrap my son's presents up um, he had taken um, some time off work and was coming with us so um, I never got this filed away and put back so it's just a little bit of tweaking as I said it is a very tiny area and I try very hard to keep the desk area as um, decluttered as possible that's why I've got everything to the side there but I like this area if I can to stay clear and any filming I have my stand at the side here so um, I'm going to get on and I will show you as I go through and I'll show you how I organise um, pieces as well right the project we were doing um, just before we went on holiday was this basic reef using a paper plate and cut strips of felt up and just knotted them um, on the side on the outside of the rim and then just finished it off with some felt rosettes buttons and butterflies so that's why I have now got to empty this bag put everything away and put it into um, its correct boxes or storage solutions that I've got um, sometimes I end up with two or three um, different um, bags with projects in um, as I said it all depends on what we're doing at the community centre and as I said I just want to get the desk cleared um, before I do anything else right I've emptied this bag and I've put everything away and this is where I keep all my felt um, she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes this box is where I got from TK Maxx and I just keep all my um, felt in here and um, some felt ornaments I've bought in the past like this snowman I got from Hobbycraft and this um, gingerbread um, person it's so I can um, use it um, to make a pattern to make some other um, Christmas decorations this year so I'm glad that I've got all that put away as I said it's all these little bits and pieces that takes the time I try and um, put things away has and when I've used items but as I said sometimes with crafting that is the one one time that sometimes it does get a little bit out of hand especially as I said um, when I'm transporting craft pieces from one area to another or even to another venue right i've finished um cleaning my cubby and um i've sorted um pieces and put them away and i've cleaned on my desk and i thought i would just share the two mail cards that i have made um i'm not sure if i'm going to add anything else to them or whether i'm going to leave them as they are and the first one is this one and it's got this paper with the clocks cars on and then I've put this um, blue and gold happy birthday on I've cut this little square out with the cutter and I've got I actually cut a red car out of a scrap piece of this sort of paper to put in the centre and then I have this embellishment of some shoes as I say it's always more difficult I feel to make male cars than it is for females and then inside I have um, put this blue spotted um, washi tape inside and again cut some more clocks out and used this other blue happy birthday so that's that one and the second one is this one, very similar paper, um, but in this grey. And I've added this um, little embellishment here, and with the beer bottle. I've gone for a gold happy birthday on this one, and I've used this brown paper on the edge. And then inside I've just used a another 
gold happy birthday so that is two male cards as i said it is more difficult to do male cards than it is females and while i'm here i have been sorting through my washi tape um i have got a few empty spaces now so um i'm trying to use up what i already have and um some of the thinner ones i have actually still got in my gold pouch there that i keep my planner stuff on in um just to keep it all together and it's just easier to pick it up um, when i need to do work on my planner but i do have most of the washi tapes in some form of um color order like i've got all my golds here going into the silver and these copper tones um pinks are here and then i've got some pitch ones here like the butterflies and the owls and some happy birthdays right at the back in the segment is mostly to do with um christmas i've got a couple of odd ones in here like this donut one and the union jack one but these all are for christmas and then just some odd ones back here i've got all the like orange tones here blues a few greens and then going into black there um here i've just got this um unicorn that's got some unicorn washi tape on and this is my um selection of notelets here i do get through an awful lot of notelets so um, I usually have them to hand and then I've got my um, stickers here my owl stickers and some with quotes on I've got little cards here I use these mostly um, sometimes to put them up here if I want to put some quotes or inspiration um, up on my board there and then right at the back I've just got the letters um, for the light up box in the lounge so that is that drawer there as i said i've just tweaked it a little bit this is my um sort of basic stationery i've got all my different um erasers here these i keep handy these are the suckers because i use these on mirrors or on glass um for reefs or anything i want to put up on the doors and then I have got, these are the little um, circle things that you put on your um, papers. This is looking a bit empty because I did originally have all my pegs in here and paper clips. And now my paper clips are in that white container there that I have um, shared before. And I've just got some um, correction pen and tape there and just some odd um, pencil sharpness and things in there. Um, down here, if anybody's interested, I can go into that in some more detail at a later date. I have all my notebooks and um, pads that I'm actually using at the moment. And then on this side, I've got a little see-through um, little unit that I've got these um, like shoe box size boxes that I got from Hobbycraft and they've got like my label maker in there I've got um, craft pieces and then I've got string and tape so all family members know where to find all those sort of things so I'm gonna leave the video there um, thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>